Hey y'all, let's check out the magic hour. All you gotta do is say Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be checking out this place. It's a little bit of everything, so we'll figure it out together what was going on exactly. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Look at the little birdie. Y'all, I look a mess when I tell you I literally threw anything on and was like, I wanted to just look around. You know, I wanted to, I was in the mood to explore. So it is currently 2.56 a.m. in the shy. Why am I up, you might ask? Yeah. I got sleepy around 8.30. I said, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap at 8.30. Uh, go ahead, I asked Alexa, I said, give me give me an hour. Give me an hour, you know, th that'll do me well. Cause I knew if I went to sleep at 8.30, there was no way in the world I was gonna sleep through the night. I don't operate like that. I knew I was gonna get up at about two or something like that. So I'm like, you know, give me an hour. And I'll be good. So then I'll probably go to sleep around two. Did she do that? No, no. Alarm was nowhere to be found. So I ended up sleeping later than I, I, my nap turned into me going to sleep. And it's a big difference. This is cute. This little like, what is this? Like a little surfboard. Okay now. So now I'm up with all of this energy at 2.57 a.m. But yeah, y'all. So today I watched um, Blank Twice. Love was. <laughs> These birds look a mess, but I, I know, I know, I, that's, that's how they look in real life, so it's not Second Life doing that. I am in the shared environment, you guys, really quickly before I just get to talking about this movie. I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Look at the horses. Oh, they're so pretty. Everyone's a different color. Can you ride the horses here? This looks like you can ride. Oh, you can ride. Howdy. I really, really enjoyed this movie. It was a thriller. To me, it was what Long Legs wanted to be, and that was a thriller. The movies are completely different um, in storyline, but I feel like the suspense of it and how everything really unfolded was, to me, the way that a thriller should be. Now, I might not watch movies very often, but when I watch a movie, I definitely wanted to make me feel some type of way. If it's supposed to be a thriller, I, I need to be getting a thrilling out of it. You know, if it's supposed to be horror, I need to be getting horror out of it. This is a beautiful statue. Oh, it's a memorial. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how beautiful the flowers are. Oh, I love this. People in SL, oh, they're so thoughtful. Sometimes, this is one of the times. So, the movie, I'm not gonna do any spoilers. I'm not gonna be in, do any spoilers. But the movie did what it needed to do. It's, when it comes to movies, I find myself a lot of the times being very unimpressed, specifically with horror movies. I don't know what the deal is with horror movies, or maybe it's me but it's hard for me to find out oh, okay now fantasy so forest fantasy beachy it's a little bit of everything it's a little bit of everything what does this say is this like a teleporter okay you can click these and then i think it'll take you to where um you need to be it should take you to where you need to be so they have lots of little options this land is fairly large um when i panned out so lots to do here lots to see here cute little sitting area as well so when it comes to like horror movies and, and thrillers and things like that they a lot of times they will come up like lackluster i've seen a lot of movies but i don't necessarily those fairies are too adorable i don't necessarily stay like in the the up and up with a lot of the like more current movies but this one um i had seen a couple commercials um when i was like watching youtube videos and a commercial come on i'm watching a commercial and i'm like okay you know this seems like something that um might be good it, it might actually be an actual thriller you know and it was it was i was very 
it was directed or produced by or directed and produced by um zoe kravitz she did her big one she did her big one i think this is her directing debut and she did her big one i don't know if she was the writer producer direct album but she did her thing oh it's how keep you safe how adorable when i tell y'all every part of it i enjoyed the time seemed like it went by so fast and that's how you know it was a good movie i think the movie was like an hour and a half long or something like that but it was a good movie it was a really good watch i really really thoroughly enjoyed it i will say for one one spoiler if you will but i actually think that these are some things that they actually show within the um the previews for the movie it's given epstein island it's given that it's given this is probably what was going on it, it probably was what is what was going on and why and why they like people are like not interested in talking about it like the spin on things i really really it was a good movie i would definitely recommend blink twice absolutely long legs hell no hell no long legs was a waste of my time i don't know what these people who review long legs and say that they enjoyed the movie and that it was a thriller amongst all thrill i don't know I don't know, but maybe we have two different definitions of thriller uh, for sure. Because thriller for me, it was not. It's the little tiny boat and she's still tiny in the boat. I know that's right. She said, listen, we chilling over here. I'm not flying all the time. I'm not flying every single place. Sometimes I'm going to take a boat. I know that's right. Look at the little deer. So yeah, that's the movie that I saw today. And I thought it was very, very good. Very, very good. You know what I find to be very intriguing about myself? Is that since I have started, and this is just like recently, since I've started really like delving like very deep into my content, I have really started to spend more time doing like research as opposed oh i wonder if i can walk out here and so we can see like the view i've started to watch youtube videos for more of like research purposes as opposed to like entertainment like i will watch videos this view is beautiful i will watch youtube videos for the entertainment purpose but I find myself watching the content for like information about how things are done within second life, within not second life, within um, YouTube, as far as like titles and tags and descriptions and what other people are doing and how it's like, how can you set yourself apart from their content, you know, as far as like the different things that you see on YouTube this is so pretty I love this space this is such a cute look all this stuff is from dust bunny I know dust bunny I could spot their stuff from a mile away it's very specific to them the way that they mesh so I pay attention to like a lot of different like intricate details and things like that and I feel like when you are on YouTube and you do um content you understand what goes into it but you also understand how you can how you can help and things like that so i find myself i watch commercials when i didn't do that before i started you know making content i didn't know that that was how they made they moolah you know oh such a pretty basket i thought that it was just something that youtube itself had implemented to make more money through the platform i didn't know that when you see these videos on people um channels who are like monetizing you see it like throughout their video that these are ads that they put in so that they can make money i didn't know that but once i started creating content and i started doing more research on creating content i understood that that's where you know that's where they get some of their moolah from so now i'll watch the videos and things like that 
And so I feel like it's so funny how the whole saying like when you don't know you don't know is so absolutely true because when I was just watching like when I was just a spectator um of YouTube I wasn't putting respect on these creators names like I just was not I was watching the content and thinking like oh you know well they're probably just doing this in their spare time it wasn't until I started creating content that I realized like god damn it's a lot of work putting together a lifestyle vlog it's a lot of work putting together a damn lifestyle vlog especially when you're like me and it's giving boring this is such a cute sitting area i love this rug now could you create content about being an introvert in the life of an introvert absolutely absolutely however um at this point in time my creativity does not flow in that manner for me to even be able to come up with content how cute is this for me to be able to even come up with content that would be suitable for viewing because for the most part my life is pretty bland it's like that on purpose because that's the way that i want it to be but when you are on the platforms and you see people who are lifestyle vloggers and they are really just like out here in the thick of it i'm like it it feels exhausting it feels exhausting to have that as your life but it's because they're extroverts a lot of them are extroverts so they can be extroverted oh this is a beautiful sandcastle so i'm like if i don't have to do something every single day i don't want to do something every single day you know what i'm saying but there are people that's like i gotta get out of this house i, I can't be in this house all day this castle is so cute it looks like it's from dust bunny as well but i don't know i don't know if dust bunny makes things like that but it's it's the meshing is given dust bunny so i feel like it's not that's not my space and when i made content um when i made um lifestyle content like that um it wasn't very appealing to me and so to edit and i always say if you are having difficulty bringing yourself to edit your content is probably maybe because you don't enjoy the content that you have created that's a telltale sign if you don't want to edit it it's probably because you don't enjoy it that much now i understand those content creators who have been doing this for a long time and maybe they don't have time to edit or editing has just become more tedious um than before because the content has changed and their lifestyle has changed due to them being able to put out content and they're more popular than they were before i get that but when you are making content that you are not very sure of or you are making content that you don't find interesting it's going to be a task to edit it and it's definitely going to be a task in my opinion to do it on a regular basis i love this coral oh look at this fruit child so yummy looking so yeah so that is why like i keep telling myself like go ahead and vlog but i'm like what the hell am i gonna vlog what i'm what i'm a vlog like like what am i going to vlog i don't know i feel like when it is really time for me to actually vlog like do a lifestyle vlog then it will happen other than that it's like the content that i have is going to have to sustain me I love creating Second Life content so much. It has just become something that is such a pleasure. And because I enjoy it so much, it's it's like, not like, but with every video, it becomes more and more effortless. It's 3.14 a.m. And I could be doing anything else right now. I could be doing anything else right now. And I'm like, you know what? let's get on let me go ahead and get on second life and make a video because i want to tell you guys that i saw bling twice and that's these kittens 
OMG, I love, I love kittens that look sad, but they really don't be sad. Because it's like, you're different. You're very different. You're not like the usual cute looking cat. Like you look like you done been through some things and you ain't been through nothing. You ain't been through nothing. So I, I just, when I find myself like, Oh, this went on. Let me get on Second Life and make a video so I can tell them this went on. Or let me get on Second Life and make a video because I'm because I'm bored and it's like okay, you could you could have done this video um, two days from now, but you know why not do it now? It's like that. It's like I find so much joy in it that it it becomes it becomes effortless. It doesn't feel. It's not a task. It's not something that I find um, difficulty in because it's something that I thoroughly enjoy. I love going places with you guys. I always feel like you guys are like with me when we're going the when we're going to these places, and I love reading the content, the comments, and things like that. Like I love everything about it. I love interacting with you guys. I love the community that we are building. I just, I love it all. I love it all. And I'm so grateful and thankful that I can even do this and that I can have something to share on this platform. That is something that is so special to me, but I also love the fact, I actually want to see if I can get in like super close on this butterfly, but I also love the fact that even if I wasn't, oh, okay, back up a little bit, girl, back up a little bit. Oh, look at that, beautiful. I love that even if I wasn't making this into or using some of my um, adventures in Second Life as content, I would still, I would still come to Second Life. I would still come to Second Life. I really would. And is this like a, a little gnome? He is knocked out, it looks. Chilling. Chilling. Minding his business, you know. So this video is running long, so stay tuned for part two. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.